There's something I need to say this morning. It's kind of heavy on my heart. You know, I am. Um, I am watching a show on psychedelics and how they took the students in and, you know, for, for experiments. And uh, my cousin was one of those kids, you know, and I loved him. He was so funny and so smart, you know, and I, I had the biggest crush on him. He, he was just... He, everybody loved him. Everybody loved him, you know. Um, and then a picture came through on my phone from my cousin of, of his daughter holding his ashes. And I was talking to him in my head in the kitchen, you know, like it all happened all at, all at once. And nothing happened today to even bring him to my mind, you know. Um, I have chills. <laughs> the universe, whatever you want to call it. I choose to remember my cousin the way he was before the drugs took over. And that statement might make a few people angry with me if any family members see this, but that's what happens, you know? Like, this is my point. Right now, um, there's been some chaos going on, you know, with, with some people in the groups, and, and I, I'm under attack again, but I don't feel like it's personal. Like, I choose to remember these people, who they were before the drugs took over. Not everybody makes it out of this, you know, and uh, we all know what happens to us. Good Lord, I shaved my head and, and moved in with the homeless people down by the riverbed. I, you know, I... What I guess I'm asking is, you know, I, I don't want to continue this heartache and this drama, but this is very much a part of this journey. Um, not everybody can make it out of this. And yes, this is triggering to hear. You know, I didn't have a choice. And my circumstances, I was stuck in this little protective bubble here, you know. Um, I choose to call it a protective bubble now instead of a cage. <laughs> I'm starting to heal. I want to start being more like, you know, where I'm at in my healing with my page. And I've shared so much trauma. And unfortunately, now more is unfolding with someone that I love very much. And there's nothing I can do to help her. <laughs> and I have to stay away. <sighs> Please don't participate in the drama. And don't... No, no more fighting. I don't want... I don't want anyone to feel like they're not welcome or loved, ever. But I cannot be beat up on anymore or attacked anymore, and maybe this is how my family was starting to feel, you know? Um, this is scary, losing someone to these drugs, and the changes that you witness, and the hell that they're going through, and the helplessness that you experience. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, girlfriend. I love you, but enough already, okay? Enough. I will choose to remember you the way I knew you. The way I know you truly are, okay? Oh, we need to pray for each other. We just do. We need to pray for each other. But for the grace of God, go I. But for the grace of God, go I. <laughs>